Welcome back everyone, we're going to be solving Lee code 1512, number of good pairs. So we're given an array of integers called nums, and we want to return the number of good pairs. And they define a pair, i and j, as good if nums of i is equal to nums of j, and i is less than j. So taking a look at example 1, they produce an output of 4. Why 4? We have 1 pairs with uh, 1 once, one pairs with another one twice, so that's two pairs. Two does not have any, three has one pair, so that would be three. Now this one will also pair with this one, so that would be four. And why? Because the index of this one is less than the index of this number one. So it's a bit of a math problem, but I'll show you how to do it in one pass. We will obviously need a count to keep track of how many pairs we have. And we are going to use a hash map um, to keep count. So what we'll do is we will loop through every num in nums. What are we going to do? If we run into a number that is already in our hash map, well, let's let's deal with the case where it's not in there. So we'll say if num is not in our hash map, right? Then we will say hash map of num will now equal one, right? We're essentially keeping track of the counts. Otherwise, if it's already in there, we want to increment our count by the number of counts we've already seen. So we will say count plus equals hash map of our current number. And then we want to increment our hash map uh, of that number by one, right? The count in our hash map has to increase by one. So we'll say hash map of num plus equals one. And then we can return the counts at the end, or the number of pairs. So we'll run this, it passes, we'll submit, and it does pass that too. So why does this work? Because we are essentially, like I said, it's a math problem. Um, I doubt an interviewer would ask you this, but if they did, all you'd have to know is you are, uh, counting the number the number of pairs is going to be the number of occurrences of that uh, number from 1 to n. And that's essentially what this loop is doing. So what is the, the space complexity? The space complexity is going to be O of n, right? We're using a hash map, so we'll say O of n. And then the time complexity is we're doing this in a single pass, so this is also going to be O of n as well. And that'll do it for Lee Code 1512.